I need to find my way through this. You know what? I was going to throw a frog because I was... <laughs> my gosh, every time I come here, I don't know what to expect. I was planning to throw a frog because I expected this thing full of weeds. It's pretty wide open. I, I, it's shallow over here. So I think I'm going to throw a... a whopper plopper and see what I can find. Well, I'm just going to throw on this um, perch colored whopper plopper 75 size in this shallow area over here and see what kind of activity I've run into if that doesn't do anything for me then I'm gonna probably throw maybe a soft jerk bait see if they're deeper First, I've got to get out of these reeds so I can cast this bait. Ow, 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 ow. Damn. I just saw a swirl right there. Luckily, no one's around yet. So, let's try to find a stake out of place. It is kind of warm. I thought it would be cooler. Partly cloudy. Oh, oh man, what the heck? Man, these hooks are so sharp. I hear so many people in the background walking around. So what we're gonna have to do, there's a A small ditch over here that I gotta I gotta wade through to get to the other side and then I should be able to walk the bank. Oh, okay, we gotta get over here. I gotta get to this edge. If I can get through these reeds, holy cow. There we go. Little higher ground. Oh, something just bit, something just hit it, just as it landed. Something bit it, something went after it. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that over there. There was something big over here. This is a big one. Oh. Oh. He got it off. Oh. Oh, that hurt. That really hurt. That was 
that was a, that could have been a three four pounder oh man I probably should not have gone into those weeds I should have probably kept them over here there's something like right over here he missed it again just not hitting it. Oh, whopper plopper. Why do you hate me? Okay, let's try to redeem myself with this whopper plopper. I don't think there's anything over here now. It's so shallow, you can usually see this, the wakes and the swirls. Okay, let's make the trek across this shallow area. Get my other rod. Oh, I'm getting stuck in the mud. over here. Oh, I'm spooking up a bunch of stuff over here. There we go. All right. Finally, not the size I want. Okay, well, no skunk. Thank you. Well, I guess I can catch something on the Whopper Plopper. Let's see if we can do that again. I mean, he didn't bite it very well. I mean, I hooked him on the outside of the gill with the back hook and the front hook was in his mouth but it wasn't really it didn't really penetrate oh this one feels a little bit bigger Now, oh yeah, 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 he's a little bit, and look at that, I barely got him hooked, okay, a little bit renewed faith in this whopper plopper, I need oh, one more fish to hit 100 bass this season, that was my goal. A small guy. And again, the back hook. Oh, and I got him on the front hook pretty good. Oh my gosh, can this guy get any smaller?
That's a monster right there. Okay, that's number five. Still trying to find that big one. Ugh. Oh man. Shoot. 